stop right there. Huh, that glow. What happened to you? Did the other ghost get to you? So, you think you have it figured out, do you? Why don't you think about it some more, just to make sure? But while you're figuring things out, let's have some fun, shall we? Uh, listen closely. There's not much time. Vlad's machine. I can fight its effects for brief moments, but the longer I remain outside the timeless star dial, the worse it gets. It won't be long until I lose myself completely. I need you to... <laughs> Return to the timeless star dial and stay there until the end of your days. Your fate is sealed. My fate is in my hands, not yours. You'd better not try to stop me from getting back home. The universe is doomed and there is nothing you can do about it. Give up and return to the timeless star dial. I won't say it again. Defy me, and you'll start a fight you could never win. If he wants to be my enemy, I have no choice but to face him. My time is nearly up. Soon, my mind will be completely overwhelmed. You must defeat me, just like you did with the others. If you weaken me enough to return to the timeless star dial, there may yet be hope. Whatever you do, do not listen to... anyone but me. Yet you still defy me. I warned you, now you'll get what you asked for. A fight. Which is perfectly fine with me. I'll still win, but from what I've seen, you'll be a worthy enough opponent. When you are ready to challenge me, come to my lair, if you dare. This time I have to stop him. You want to know a secret? Vlad's mind control device was flawed in two ways. One small, and one, well, very, very big. Here's the small one. It doesn't actually control minds, but simply replaces their personality with an angry, aggressive one. So it's not like he could build some conquering army or anything. In fact, he had no real control over whoever was affected by his machine. Take me, for example. I have no compulsion to serve Vlad Plasmius, and I've grown rather fond of smashing things and people and such. You've had a taste of that, so you know how wonderful that feeling is. Violence is never the answer. Stop this now. Come back to the timeless star dial and you'll come to your senses. Nonsense. Not while we're in the middle of non-stop fun. You see, Vlad's machine had a big flaw that caused it to blow up, destroying the entire universe. So much fun to watch. And I can simply rewind time and watch it over and over forever. And each time, just before it does, you'll be sent back to the timeless star dial so we can battle all over again. An endless battle right on the edge of total oblivion. Oh, how exciting. You're insane. You have to be stopped. Think what you want, sticks and stones. Now it's time for battle. Prepare yourself. You never did stand a chance against me. I guess I'm out of my element when it comes to time. Please, we can't keep on fighting like this. 
If you won't face me, I'll find someone who will. I have plenty of choices, you know. Gotcha! Enough! You have fought well, but not well enough. You're not playing fair. You can't be surprised. I am the bad guy after all. Let's continue. Are you ready? Again, I won't let you do this. You did it, I think. It worked! Yay! Let's not celebrate until we're safely back at the Timeless Star Dial. Come. You've done well, hero. Very well. It is not often I express gratitude towards another being, but I really must thank you. My recent memories are patchy at best. The only time I was truly myself was when we spoke here at the Timeless Star Dial. But as soon as I wandered beyond this pocket dimension, the other me hijacked my mind. A result of being exposed to Vlad Plasmius's machine when I tried to disable it. It destroyed the universe, something my evil self came to enjoy witnessing time after time. So that's the story? Why didn't you just level with me? Let's just say that at the beginning of our journey, it might have been a little TMI. You succeeded anyway, as I'd foreseen. When I was myself, of course. Vlad's machine has been destroyed, and everyone has been freed of its influence. And it won't destroy the universe either. All of this was thanks to you. And now, you may return home. I can't believe you did it. It should have been impossible. I'm the Avatar. Saving the day is sort of my thing. Oh, please. I would have been the one to save the day if you hadn't kept defeating me before I could fix my machine. And I'd defeat you again to stop you from destroying the universe. Look, I built that machine to control minds, but even I didn't plan on blowing up the universe. Do you know how many ghosts that would have resulted in? Yikes. Here's the thing Clockwork didn't tell you. When I discovered that my device was going to blow up, I was going to try to fix it. But the evil clockwork sent you to stop me before I could. All because he liked watching things blow up! You expect me to trust you after all of this? I'd say ask clockwork yourself, but he won't remember. You see, clockwork tried to destroy my machine, but I managed to bathe him in mind control rays first. The machine blew up, destroying everything shortly thereafter. So he caught me in an endless loop to watch it over and over again. But each time I remembered what happened next. So I came up with a plan to fix the machine and stop him. And to stop everything from, you know, blowing up. But master of time that he is, he saw through my plan and brought you in to stop me from being able to fix the machine. So you see, I'm actually the hero of this story, not you. And certainly not clockwork. Even if that's true, you still mess with our minds. Fine. Believe me or don't believe me, what do I care? But it's over and nothing's blown up. So who's to say I didn't save the day after all? Hmm. I guess congratulations are in order. While I could have been the hero, it was my machine that destroyed the universe after all. And though I tried to fix it, between you and clockwork, you made it so that my machine didn't malfunction in the first place. So, there was no need to fix it. 
And it really was you that saved the day, and not me. Are you ready to make amends for what you did? Ha! Don't bet on it. I mean, I still want to control pretty much everything. Who wouldn't? I just have to try another way. And I will. Trust me on that. I'll bust out of here soon and embark on a new evil scheme. I got plenty of them up my sleeve. I've stopped you before. I'll stop you again if I have to.